Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you an effective way for starting peas indoors, about a week, I'll go over that, and then you get them outside to finish off, kind of maturing to transplant size in the sun so that they're acclimated and you don't have to go through the acclimation process, and then you can get them into the ground. So a couple of things to start. I like starting peas in larger containers like this. You can use um, yogurt containers if you want, poke holes in there. You want a nicer depth. The peas here, today is uh, January 26th, so it's been seven days. They've already germinated, they broke the surface, and basically what you want to do is start them indoors. When they get to this point, get them outside. Because they just broke the surface, they're going to have UV protection. They haven't been growing inside for a long time. They're not softening up or anything like that. So I use the warmth of the indoors to get them germinated, and then they would go outside and finish maturing for about another seven to ten days to transplant size and then I would get them into the ground. Now today is January 26th. This is too early for me here in Maryland Zone 7. I would start this process towards the end of February, beginning of March, and then the timing would be right. But again, I wanted to show you, you know, something about this size. If you use the smaller containers, they're just too small. You could only put one pea seed in here. I put two in here. We'll get to transplanting in a second. But because there's such um, a small amount of space here, the roots will quickly come out here, spread around, and then when you're trying to take them out, you're going to damage the roots. So I like something like this, or a yogurt container. You can also, I will link the video, I showed you how to make paper cups for seed starting. Now these get to be fragile, but this would be perfect for peas. You just put two peas in each of these, let them do their thing, get them outside after a week, let them stay outside another seven to ten days, and then you just drop the whole pot wherever you want them to go, into containers or to the ground. And it's really inexpensive to make your own flower pots like this, and again, I will link the video. So, start with any starting mix that you want to want to use, and these are sugar uh, daddy peas. These are sugar peas, basically, and that means the pea gets to a full size and the pot is edible and I just put in two or three. These seeds, by the way, are two years old, so you can save your seeds and reuse them, and you can see they already germinated. These are going to go down about a half an inch. They're large seeds, so they would go down further, and I'm just going to use my finger, actually, and just press them down about a half an inch. If you go a little further, that's fine. The starting mix is pre-saturated, so it's nice and moist, well packed in there. And that's all you do to get your peas started. When you plant these, you're going to keep two seeds per cell, so they're going to be two seeds going into the ground, maybe three or four inches, three or four inches of space, another cell in there of two seeds, so it's two seeds, three or four inches, two seeds, and you're basically just dropping your plug every three or four inches. It's a good idea to start them this way because when I'm going to try and get these outside in March, the ground is going to be cold. So when your seeds are sitting in cold ground, they're going to take a lot longer to germinate. So I germinate them in here for a week, put them outside seven to ten days. They don't need to be transitioned out because these are already tough enough to deal with the sun. They'll grow a bit more and then I'll be able to get them into the ground in March. And the reason I target March is really because I will still be getting frosts. Peas can handle a frost, but the ground's not going to be frozen and I can work the ground and get them, you know, to the containers or into the earth beds of where I want them to go. So this is a quick and easy way to start peas seven days inside, finish them off 10, 14 days outside, get them into their final resting place. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and also check out the video on how to make these paper pots. The paper pots are fragile, but they're perfect for starting peas indoors and then doing that trick to get them outside. Thanks for watching.